Hi everyone, I'm Lala. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to be making a stuffed chicken recipe. If you're new here, can you please take the time out to subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified when I go live or upload? I am preheating the oven to 475 because we are going to be roasting some bell peppers. I have a red and an orange bell pepper. Um, I cut them by uh, by the section so that I can take out the veins and uh, do take out the seeds. Do wash your peppers. I think we all know that. And also, don't forget to take off the sticker. <laughs> I do believe uh, someone... I heard this somewhere, somewhere, and someone said um, that the stickers are edible. Uh, I ain't willing to test it, so just remember to take off the stickers. <laughs> Put the peppers face down on a sheet pan with parchment paper. Drizzle with just a little bit of oil. You don't have to drizzle oil. I, I just did. I don't know why I did it, but I did it. Put it in the oven at 475 for 15 to 20 minutes till they look like that. And then you can skin them if the skins are easy to come off. Or you can just toss them in a bag like I did and let them cool in the bag. Kind of, you know, it'll help the, the skin come off a lot easier. Pepper skin is very thick. And uh, we're going to be stuffing a, ch a chicken with this. So you want it to be able to, you know, just kind of bite, uh, bite it with your teeth and not have to pull the whole pepper out. Like it's going to be easier to eat, so... Yeah, this part is kind of important. All right, you're going to turn down your oven to 375 because uh, we're going to need it in a little bit. So I got a log of goat cheese. I've never really worked with goat cheese. I thought it was supposed to be creamy and it was kind of hard. So then I tried to <laughs> slice it. Mm, it wasn't working. So I just eventually crumbled it up kind of like feta. Um, it's really um, rich. This is a rich cheese. Um, everything seasoning by Chef Lee from Instagram. I'll link her below. And uh, this is a, a seasoning very good. I don't really know what's in it. It tastes really good. And it doesn't have a lot of salt. And that's why I like it. Uh, but do season your chicken however which way you want. Use whatever seasonings you want. You know me. You know what I say. You know your family. You know what they like. Um, but just just put some. Don't just put salt and pepper. Just add some flavor to it. You all At all times. Chicken breasts. You need to do this to chicken breasts. Now, chicken breasts, uh, I'm using these um, thinly cut chicken breasts. I would suggest that you buy the chicken breast that is skinless and boneless, but is it's the, the whole piece, and just slice it because it's easier to roll because we're going to be rolling this in bacon. You're going to see in a little bit what I'm talking about. Um, I, I only have the, the thinly slices because I really... I, so dry. I really don't like chicken breast, but I'm trying to eat better. Um, but I don't know if wrapping it in bacon is better. <laughs> There's a lot of bacon in this this video. By the way, I'm I'm making uh two sides with this as well. All right, so I had a total of six fillets, uh, the, the chicken fillets, and um I'm gonna wrap them in bacon and two slices of bacon. And uh, this is what I'm talking about. Why this was a bad idea with with the slice thinly sliced breast um you'll see in a minute that how i roll it it's just it's just it's impossible so it's, e it's, it's easier to just get the whole uh chicken breast that is boneless and skinless cut a slice in the middle and stuff it i think that'd be best so i'm stuffing this with the peppers the skinless pepper roasted peppers which the roasting part gives it a really nice flavor i have some fresh spinach and some the goat cheese now you can, you can, you can, there are so many ways, other ways that you can stuff this, other items you can stuff this with. Um, but this is just one. We can, maybe I'll just do videos instead of, I mean, I could tell you, you know, you can do basil, tomato, red onion, Italian seasoning, mozzarella, you know. Um, as you can see, it was not, I mean, this is, this is actually the uh, the good one. <laughs> it's the one right away. Um, the other ones were not so nice. I think next time, I mean, I think next time I'm going to just um, do frozen frozen and drained spinach uh, with cream cheese, which I've done. I think there's a video I have somewhere in my catalog. Um, eating healthy. 
you know, it's, you got to get creative with trying to eat better. Again, I don't, I don't know if this is healthy because of the, the bacon, but it's definitely carb free. I think are peppers carbs. I don't know. Is cheese, does cheese have carbs? <laughs> as you can see, as you can hear, I do not know. Um, but yeah, we definitely, like, I would have usually made, probably made like a side of, of something with rice or pasta and then have a vegetable. We have two vegetables. Um, I will be sharing with you in the video. But as you can see, you see what I'm talking about? How it was hard to roll. And I thought I was being clever by putting two pieces of bacon on the ends. And then I was like, oh, it's going to meet. They're going to meet in the middle. That didn't happen, as you can see. Um, but, I mean, you know, it, it still tasted good. It don't matter. All those ingredients. Think about all those ingredients in your head and think about how that would taste. I mean, it tasted delicious. Uh, it just wasn't as pretty as it, I had in my pictured in my mind. And then I was like, oh, let me put the cheese down. And then, aha, uh -huh, put the spinach on top. Hmm, that'll work. But yeah, I think um, the f fillets, the thinly cut fillets kind of just made it. So you're going to pop this in the oven at 375 for about an hour just to make sure everything is cooked thoroughly. And um, I'm starting off uh, the first side. With the, which is a butternut squash hash. I'm cutting up a whole onion. I'm going to be using this onion on the, the hash and on the green beans that I'll be making as well. And uh, I want to apologize that there are no cooking so sounds or slicing sounds. Because I was actually supporting a sister on YouTube. Um, but I think now I'm going to start doing the re just watching the replays so I could film... And y'all can get all the, the sounds that y'all love. In this pan, I have two um, pieces of bacon that I diced up or chopped up. Uh, some of that onion and two cloves of garlic that I'm grating. Saute that a little bit. And then you're going to add butternut squash. Now you can buy the squash, the whole squash, and do all that. Makes you a little bit better than me. <laughs> or... You can buy it pre-cut and be lesser. I don't think you're lesser. I think you're smarter. I think this is a very great idea. If you've ever tried to cut up a butternut squash, you know how difficult that is? And to get those precise slices and cuts, buy it in a bag already pre-cut, sis. Trust. Or brother. Trust. All right. So um, Mrs. Dash garlic and herb seasoning. No salt. That's what I've been using a lot. But y'all know I had to be extra. So I added some crushed red pepper flakes. Salt pepper. And what's not pictured or filmed. I added some smoked paprika as well. And then I got my vegetable steamer. Threw in some green beans that were probably turning. Uh, but I am not a wasteful person. I added some onion. Of course seasoning, salt, pepper. Garlic powder. Crushed red pepper flakes. Uh, what else did I add in here? Oh, some balsamic vinegar as well. For a little, you know, a little tartness. It was really good. There's the garlic powder. Season what you, how you like what you like. Um, I think that you should be adventurous and try something new. Something you would never think to add. I try to do that. Um, at least once with every meal like that balsamic vinegar I had never add that, added that before I don't think to green beans and I did it alright so back to the uh, butternut squash hash I added about a quarter cup of water you can do a quarter cup of broth if you'd like put the top on and just let it steam cook until everything's ready and here is the finished product uh, these are uh, I'm going to call these chicken logs <laughs> uh, it's cooked everything is cooked the chicken was, you know, nothing was pink. I'm going to show you right now as I cut into it how everything, how it looks inside. These were so good. Raul ate, I made a total of three. Raul ate one, I ate one, and then he took one for lunch. Look how pretty it looks inside. It tastes really good. Um, I hope you try this. 
If you do, come back and let us know how you like it. If your family loved it. If they didn't, it's okay. You can try. You can try something different. Try. Be adventurous when you make a stuffed chicken. Think outside the box. Think about what your family loves. That's my uh, my tip. Uh, stay tuned for Raul's his reaction to this to this combination. Thank you so much for watching and sticking in, sticking in, uh, sticking in, in, I can't talk, for sticking with us. Um, I know I haven't been making uh, recipe videos in a minute. I kind of, I just, I'm, I'm on this kick, man. I'm on this kick and I'm trying to learn and, and find out what we like. Um, but I've been sticking it, sticking in there. Uh, carbs, they're kind of hard to get rid of, but, um. I'm doing a little bit. I'm not total. I'm not totally off of carbs. I'm not on keto. I'm just low carb. Uh, but look at that plate. Tell me that ain't that ain't good. Tell me that ain't good. All right. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, oh. All right. Come and eat. All right. So um, this is uh, okay. So let me tell you what this is. This is a uh, chicken breast wrapped with bacon, stuffed with spinach bell peppers and goat cheese and we got some green beans with some balsamic vinegar onion salt pepper and this is butternut squash hash with bacon onions garlic a lot of seasonings so taste test the carne try to get a little bit of everything Is it good? Mm-hmm. That's a hash. It's good? Mm-hmm. Yep. You like it? Yeah. All right, everyone. I hope you liked this video. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. If you uh, try this, a chicken recipe then come back and let me know how you liked it we love you guys bye bye thank you